People are taking more photographs than ever. This seems to go without saying, right? As the technology of photography has advanced to a point where anyone can take a photograph at nearly any time, the invisible barrier that separated the amateurs from the photographers has all but vanished. Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, Snapchat, Every day we wade through a sea of images, and we run the risk of making commonplace something that was once exciting and sort of magical. So today, in 2017, in this barrage of images, what makes someone a photographer? If everyone is a photographer, is anyone? Is this even a meaningful question? Technology has a democratizing effect. Look at these videos as an example. My ability as a content creator to create what I like to think is high quality videos and to distribute them to a relatively large audience is something that would have been unthinkable 20 years ago. In the span of my relatively young life, we've gone from this to this. Light shining on the one side of the rocks. That is gonna be ugly. This democratization applies just as easily to photography. Look at Wedding Wire or The Knot and you'll see a market so wildly oversaturated that breaking through can be all but impossible. Long gone are the days when simply understanding how to take a photograph was enough to build a photography business. Modern DSLRs have all but removed any barrier to entry. And the subsequent influx of wedding, landscape photographers has birthed a sort of arms race made of Photoshop filters, copy-pasted backgrounds, and HDR fever dreams. If any of this makes it sound like I'm opposed to this democratization, that isn't the case at all. It's never been easier to share your work, to find like-minded people, to explore the world of photography, and to grow as an artist. I know in my gut that the word photographer still means something, and I assume many of you feel the same. You wouldn't use that word to describe an aunt who posts photos of dogs to Facebook or a friend who tastefully documents his dinners around town on Instagram. So if it still means something, how do we define that something? In his memoir, On Writing, Stephen King said something to the effect that once you've been paid a dime for something you've written, you are a professional writer. While I like this quote, and the book, honestly, if you're interested in writing, go pick it up, regardless of how you feel about Stephen King. I sort of hate the idea of tying artistic titles to monetary success. Yes, that can be part of it, but art doesn't require recognition or profit. It just needs to be made and consumed. So what makes a photographer then? Is it an understanding of the craft? Technical skill? Uh, artistic intentions? I suppose it's any of those things. The man documenting a game-winning touchdown is a photographer, and so is the woman creating tintypes of her grandmother. Over the last several years of my life, I've seen more beautiful images than I had in probably the previous 30. Instead of devaluing photography, I found this inspiring. Just like working out at a bodybuilding gym makes me feel like a fat piece of garbage, or standing in the Upper East Side of Manhattan makes me feel like the poorest person on Earth, surrounding myself with talent and beautiful works builds a sort of aspiration. It makes me want to do better. Anyone who creates art struggles to be recognized. I'd be lying if I said that my switch to film photography wasn't an attempt to escape the digital cold war. There's only so many Photoshop layers you can combine and blend before you start to wonder if maybe the problem is your photographs. Maybe the problem is you. For better or for worse, film was an easy way to escape this argument entirely. To create something that at least fewer people were doing. So maybe it all boils down to perception. Do you think you're a photographer? and you probably are. It's easy to look at the constant deluge of images in social media and to get disheartened. It's easy to worry that everything's been done, that all photographs have been taken. For this reason, I think it's important to remember that anyone can sit down and write a story. Anyone can pick up a guitar and strum. Anyone can paint a picture. This accessibility hasn't in any way diminished great works of literature, music, or art. And photography is the same. In a move straight out of my freshman year of college, I initially planned to open this video with the dictionary definition of photographer. Strangely enough, my favorite came from Urban Dictionary of all places. It says, Photographers should define individuals using cameras who are dedicated, show some level of skill, talent, or expertise, and usually persist in taking pictures for extended periods of their lives. 
I think it sums it up pretty well, and if you don't like that one, there's always Wikipedia's definition. As always, guys, thank you for watching.